Hi everyone! Today I will talk about HDR settings for Cyberpunk 2077. These settings can cause problems. So the step 1. Define the correct RGB range, full or limited. In the console menu settings, you can select the range, full, limited or auto. With some displays, you may notice that when switching these modes, the image does not change, the display does not turn off for a short moment. In this case, the console with your TV works in limited mode. Leave any value in the console settings and set limited in the TV settings. Your TV may refer to this option differently, such as black level. If your TV correctly switches modes when changing full or limited modes in the console, then set the console to full and in the TV, full or auto. This step is important, because if the range the console is outputting is different from the range your TV is turned to, then you may see washed out colors and low contrast. This is mistake. Step 2. Disable your TV's tone mapping modes. Not dynamic tone mapping, not HDR gaming interest group, not others. Only off. Step 3. Find out in the specification of your TV or on the website rtings.com the value of the peak brightness of your TV. Step 4. In the game settings, high dynamic range section, set the maximum brightness value that you find it in the previous step. Note that the test image provides little information and it seems that it doesn't always respond correctly to changing parameters. Therefore, when changing the game settings, see how the real image changes in the game. Step 5. Next parameter, Tone Mapping Midpoint. You may have seen a similar parameter in the game's Resident Evil or Hitman. The settings allows you to shift the priority towards dark or light. But your task is to stick to a neutral balanced value of 1.0. If you see washed out colors and low contrast, you will want to decrease the value to compensate. But this is a mistake. If you see washed out colors and low contrast, which is most likely a color range problems, See step 1. Find a scene with a bright light source, such as the sun. I will try to explain to you. The sun is at its maximum brightness, which you set in the previous step. Changing the tone mapping midpoint value changes the overall exposure of the image. Look, if the value is small, then the brightness of the area around the sun is much lower than the sun itself. If the value is too high, then the sky and clouds merge with the sun into one big highlight. A valid value of 1 is when the brightness of the area around the sun is barely close to the peak brightness of the sun. By the way, if you could not find the brightness value of your TV, then set tone mapping midpoint value to 1 and increase the maximum brightness value while the sun's brightness increases. If the brightness of the sun stops increasing and the brightness of the area of the sky around you begins to increase, you have reached the brightness limit of your TV. Step 6. The last parameter of paper white is very simple. This is the brightness of the user interface. Set the value you want. This meaning is subjective. I think the value will be somewhere between 200 and 500 nit. Hope the video was helpful. Like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.